We're here at Randy's Worldwide booth again, SEMA 2021. In the booth with me right now is Andrew McLaughlin. Andrew, great to have you, my friend. Yeah, buddy. Good yeah. to see you, all the way from Phoenix. Yeah, we came up from Phoenix. Uh, uh, Let's Roll Off-Road from Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Andrew McLaughlin, and we, we do the MIT class, the Master Installer Training Program, which is what we're actually displaying here this year. You got to like set up back there, like teaching gear sets almost, right? We're, we're building this back there, left and right. Yeah, we, awesome. we brought up some displays. We got a bunch of different applications, so. Yeah, and I've been to the Master Installer Training Program at Let's Roll, and it's awesome because it's like hands-on, learn it, do it, everything, right? Yeah, the idea was we would make a about a 70-30, right? So about 70% hands-on, about 30% book and some tech stuff. A lot of business talk, a lot of tech talk, um, tips and tricks. It's really neat when you get to meet with uh, all these people around the country and kind of learn where they're coming from and share your experiences and even learn new experiences. But yeah, I mean, it, it is it is hands-on. We have a whole training room. I want to say we have almost a dozen different applications and we'll even take custom ones. Somebody calls and says, hey, you know, I really want to know, I, I specialize in, in, in in this type of vehicle and I want to learn this rear end, no problem. We'll bring that rear end in and train them up. Yeah, I think that to me was the coolest thing when we were there because, I mean, all the guys there, they're installers and they're most of them work green. They've done it before. And they even had some ideas on different ways to set things up or the ways that they did. I think that when you get a group of people together, that are like-minded and do the same thing, you're always gonna learn something cool. Yeah, it's amazing. So, you know, we're obviously teaching by the book, but there's, like every skill trade, there's always a little tip or a trick that you'll pick up, and it's amazing seeing all these people, like I said, coming from all walks of life all around the country working on trucks, cars, um, some bigger heavy equipment, full-size stuff, whatever, off-road racing, and um, uh, just watching them learn something. You know, you're, you're working with somebody that maybe has been doing this for 15, 20 years, is like, wow, I've never seen that, or I've never done it that way, and uh, I, I, I won't lie, you know, I learn something new every day. I mean, the the, the, the tools that these guys kind of develop on their own are really neat. And we actually have some over there. I don't know if you saw the uh, third member holder. I did, it's kind of cool. kind of yeah. evolved from some, yeah. you know, some I've got ideas. one that I built myself, but it only works with a nine inch. Yeah. And then I saw that over there and I'm like, all right, now I need one of these. Exactly. Because this thing is pretty darn cool. Yeah. And that's one of the ideas that just developed out of just, you know, the little BS around the, uh, around the differential fire, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. All right, so that's cool. So now the other thing to talk about obviously will be racing because that's like where you get to spend your free time, yep. what you have. Yep. So what's what's on tap for next year Ultra 4 wise? So, so we uh, we race an Ultra 4 car uh, in the, in you know, primarily if you haven't heard of Ultra 4, that's the king of the hammers. Most people kind of, you know, they know what king of the hammers is, they may not know our sanctioning body. Uh, so we're the mixed martial, mixed, mixed martial arts of racing, right? So uh, I actually just sold my car this year, kind of unexpectedly um, I had it for sale we didn't know what we were gonna do and then then sure enough it popped the uh, uh, even though they've raced it once I'll let you guys figure it out but I went back to straight axle car this year mm -hmm. yep. so we're in full pare down and prep I actually I actually bought a car that I've always really kind of had my eye on uh, a friend of mine owned and he was gonna try something new so I picked that up in the interim and uh, we're working on some really new stuff for for after you know maybe late 2022 but yeah next up for us is uh, getting these cars dialed in the new ones we got we actually got two um, um, and and you know getting maybe a couple races some Johnson Valley testing and then yeah we're gonna hit KOH 2022 swinging. I'm a straight axle fan for that race, so I'm stoked to be in there. I'm, in a car I'm like glad that. to see you back with straight axle. I always yeah. like when a straight axle wins that race, and I think if last year's race shows us anything, it seems to be heading back that way. It, in the past couple of years, I yeah. mean the past two years were uh, or, uh, straight axle cars. Yeah, so. and big rock racing, which yeah. I like. You know, yeah. to have it back in the rocks, I think is what makes yeah. that's what makes King of the Hammers King. Of the exactly, and that's my background. You know, I was kind of I'm a rock crawler. I got a rock crawling event next weekend. You know, we're all have the the crawler out. You know, the 42s and water, and uh, it's a big event we do down uh, down south. And yeah, so we're pretty stoked to be back in a straight axle and hit those rocks hard. That's awesome. Now let's talk a little bit about Let's Roll. So Let's Roll premier shop just outside Phoenix. Anyone who asks me where to get work done in the Phoenix area, I always send him to Andrew because I know what he does is top notch. And so, but you guys don't just build race cars there, right? No. This is, it's everything and anything, right? Yeah, yeah, so we do. You know, I started this shop 13 years ago out of my garage as a, as a hobby, right? I mean, I know, I know a lot of people can say that. Uh, we have 13 employees, like 13 family members, you know, and, and we're all raising families out of this. Um, and we are, we, we really, really try to be that, that go-to shop, and even the Southwest, right? I want to get outside Arizona. We take a lot from California, Nevada, New Mexico, what have you, even from, even from Mexico. You know, we get a lot of people come up from there, but we try to try to specialize in, in every aspect of our sport. So we're an off-road shop and we'll do anything from lift kits to full fabrication race cars if we need and everything in between. Um, we've launched a lot of our own bumpers, so we're getting rolling with that. We're doing our own axles and some of the newer applications. So we have a really neat 
nine inch that we're building for uh, JLs, JTs. Um, you know, you kind of name it, we do it. As far as uh, we're not willing to, you know, we're not not afraid to take on a challenge. And you know, our, our goal is just to work with the the best companies out there, offer the best parts, the best service at the absolute best price we can. And I don't know, it's worked for this long, so I'm going to keep going with just it. Keep going. Keep yeah, going that's the way it. to do yep, it. Yep. Well, there you go. SEMA 2021. Andrew is here in the Randy's Worldwide booth. Stop by, you can see basically what the master installer training class is all about. And if you're in the Southwest and need your jump fixed, call him. Let us know. Thanks, buddy.